Hi, I'm Michelle. And we'd like to welcome you to our home, which we nicknamed several years ago. And it's called Our Cape Farm Charm. Yeah, so the, the home was already new when we walked in, but we knew we wanted to put our own personal touches on it because a house is a house until you make it home. So we wanted to make it home and we were determined to do that. And we're very excited to show you how we did that. We'll take you on a little tour through our home and we'll show you all the parts of the home that are special to us and how we made it home for us. Cool. So one of the first parts that we tackled in this house was the mudroom area. And it's, it's funny because it's the first part of the house that you enter. So we created the look of a mudroom by putting beaded panels, putting a shelf at the top, and a matching bench on the bottom, and that's where we hang all our coats, keep our shoes on the bottom, and it's an extension to the closet that's already here. It might not look like anything, but there's a whole story behind it. So we went to Hudson Valley together, and we walked into one antique shop, and I saw this, I guess, mantle, we'll call it. It was, as I said, disgusting. It was rot now, burnt. It had originally forged nails in it. So we brought it back, we restored it to its original condition. It took some time, put a lot of love into it, um, had some new pieces, but for the most part, we <laughs> try to keep the same elements of it. With the kitchen, it's actually part of the living dining room area, and it's actually the heart of the home. We're able to be there and watch the kids play in this area. We added an extension to the granite countertop to make seating for ourselves, our kids. We wanted to put some decorative elements to it, so I found these wooden corbels, which we incorporated into the design. So we were able to get a beautiful aesthetic piece as well as a functional custom piece as well. A lot of vanities were changed, so the vanities were changed, adding a farm sink. The beaded paneling on the cabinets, the floating shelves, all handmade by my husband. So with the attic, we decided to add shelving into it and we the room. We created a decorative niche. For the TV and the books that we saw for the kids as well. And I think one of the bigger statements in that room is almost floor to ceiling chalkboard for the kids. It brings a nice contrast in that space because everything is white in that room. So aesthetically pleasing and again functional. Something that we really strive for. And then not to get away from the farm charm design aspect of it, of course, we had to put beaded paneling on top of those storage closet doors. And then the hardware as well that we use there for a farm like. Yeah, the hinges, the door handles, the beaded paneling, all of that was done to again. Tie in with the rest of the house, the farm exactly. aspects of it. Yes. The master bedroom has. We essentially we wanted to have an accent wall behind our bed and we felt the best thing to do was to put shipwreck. We love shipwreck. But we kind of fell in love with the raw uh, material that we have yes. on the wall that we never painted. And then especially adding the handmade sconces that are just hanging alongside of it. And we extended the same intent into our youngest son's nursery. So his entire room is shipwreck. We love the shipwreck brings in that texture, it also opens up the space and again ties back to that farmhouse feel that we've been trying to achieve. When we bought the house, the backyard was a patch of concrete. We knew we had to turn this backyard around to be actual livable outdoor square footage that we can enjoy with our family. So we hand built cedar pergola, so we got a bunch of material and it wasn't beautiful just material, it was beautiful cedar that you and your father worked on together and you right. built this beautiful pergola and you also added shade and music there and then what it created is our own little oasis in the back. It's very nice looking, aesthetically pleasing <laughs> and comforting area for our kids to play while the adults relax, sit around the fire pit and kind of have this entire backyard to escape into. So with the leftover cedar that we had, he built a vertical garden and attached it to the side of the garage. Definitely tied in, right? The white garage with the cedar tied in the backyard together. And yeah. And I will have to say, he even went the extra mile and put in his own drip irrigation system. So my son got a bike, then he got a push cart, then he got another car, then he got another bike, and then a tricycle, and a scooter. And, a scooter, yeah. and all of this had to go somewhere. <laughs> so the side yard where I did the like, great awning. Uh, and a hanging system that allows us to hang 
all of his outside toys. So I decided to use a corrugated roof on top of that to add to the farm-like elements of the house. And we do have that roof inside in their playroom over the windows. We bought this house and then we built it, made it our own, right? So it was not just someone's layout, it was not someone's paint on the walls, it was our intent, it was our idea to bring life into this house and I feel that's exactly what we did.